All right, good morning, folks. Another beautiful day. This is gonna be a steamer today, 100 degrees. We got the, the winds up coming from the south and we're about to embark on sickness right there. Now, a lot of people saw when I was working on the engine, I was not getting a new prop. There's my prop right there. This is the prop that I came, that came with the boat. It was actually an upgrade. It was a Fury 4 blade. I think it's a 14 degree pitch, but um, I got my first oil change. Um, you guys probably saw those episodes and um, she's running great. Doesn't get any better. Um, I am looking for a better hole shot. That's the whole thing I'm looking for right now, but it's a heavy boat. You got 64 plus gallons of gas. Um, and I can tell you that coming out of the hole is rather slow, but slower than I would like. But as the gas goes down and the live wells aren't full, it certainly does its job. But I'm getting a lot of recommendations. Now I got this boat from Sands Marine out of Louisville, or it's actually, I think, Clarksville, Indiana. So you check out Sands Marine down there. Um, Jeremy is his name. He will take care of you if you're interested in a Bass Cat. Um, Bass Cat is an incredible company. I can't say enough good things about them. The retention of their, their guys are, are long-term because of the quality and how they take care of everybody. So check them out. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, there's some things that you always look back at and you say, I wonder if I could have done this a little different, but, uh, Right now, I'm very excited. So, there she is. We're gonna put slabs in the boat this episode. I appreciate you joining me. We're gonna come out here for a short little bit here, do some active captain. Um, I just reset my defaults on my Garmin because I wanted to make sure that I was getting the best picture. So we're gonna check out, see how that looks now. Um, Cause I do believe in just setting it on the defaults rather than jacking around with it too much. So, let's put some fish in the boat, thank you. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Now I can't tell you, it has taken a while for me to get used to the hot foot. <laughs> um, you know, the thing that I think is a disadvantage of the hot foot is it's not like a cruise control where on the throttle you can just leave it down and it stays at that so you have to continuously push pressure on the hot foot but outside of that it allows you to keep both your hands on the wheel which at those speeds that's uh that's important so currently you know well either way this is a fantastic boat i want you guys to reach out to sans marine give them some support those guys uh, hooked me up with a great fantastic boat and their customer service is through the roof good and um, I don't know I want to support who supports three pound fishing and Bass Cat has definitely done that so and I love the boat big big boat <laughs> I love it all right we're about to sh shoot off here admit one thing the wind is definitely up uh, so we found ourselves a little nice little hole here with no wind we're gonna get to check out this active captain right off the bat now these are default settings have not touched them so you're gonna have to see it right off the bat because I'm going right into active captain because I want you to see what default settings are I think that's important maybe that's what we'll name this episode we're gonna put fish in the boat but maybe just reviewing what the default settings are what comes with your Garmin is important for you to know and like i said this is what i use and i freaking love it i don't jack around with the gain anything like that now granted if you go to another lake on my lake it just seems like the default settings are spot on so these are the default settings i'm gonna sc scan it out there show you guys what 60 foot looks like and we aren't to our mark yet because i got a little anxious but there it is here's the settings right here so in our setup Appearance. So noise rejects at medium, ghost rejects at auto, TVG is off. I want to know what you guys think about that. That's what I'm using. I'm not jacking around. Go to appearance. 
I do switch it to black emerald because it does start off as amber, but look at the color limit, zero. So I'd love to hear anybody's suggestions on maybe do a little tweak to it. But other than that, folks, I just don't see a purpose. I get my best image. And of course, we haven't come up on any fish yet. So I'll just show you what it's going to look like. But let me get a rod out. I'm going to show you guys this is what I've been fishing with lately. I've been fishing with this the bubblegum pink. So there's some fish right there on that hillside. Bubblegum pink with that red, white, and blue uh, three pound fishing uh, minnow. And this is a great spot because this is typically a. a uh, you know, there's some fish. I don't know what's going on there. We're gonna so, anyway, give me your feedback on this picture. We're just now starting to drop on it, see what's going on, and tell me what your thoughts are. I, I really I think the picture is pretty darn good. Minus the fact that they don't seem to want to bite it. interesting to see what these fish are going to do because uh, you get the sense that the heat's coming because I mean this is warm wind that's blowing right now let me tell you I go back to default settings would be a great question um, I was struggling with that image with that update I did the update I still struggled with the up with the, with the image just a little bit and um, I didn't really I mean I still like that new the newest update I think is is, is good but um, I still didn't have their best picture and I and I called Garmin up and they said switch it over back to factory let's go there and and lo and behold I just really liked what I saw and there's a good pile right there see how reactive they are but then I just like what I saw and I like the idea that it's pretty simple um, yeah that didn't take and, uh, so that's where I'm at default settings I don't there's no secret for me now um, beautiful fish Still got plenty on this pile right here. And we're out of the wind, by golly. See if we get some good active captain. Default settings, baby. Just doesn't get any better than that if your default settings are good. Try the old faithful gumdrop that's available on the website you guys freaking love the gumdrop that thing has sold out three times it's a, it's just a great bait and we got them stacked here so we're gonna try it with the gumdrop which I suspect will be <laughs> and of course the gumdrop is a 132nd ounce hair jig and it's just it's probably my favorite the darbone the carrot those are all incredible jigs there it is didn't even have
to get into the pile. Good fish. Gumdrop. Check it out at 3poundfishing.com. It's that simple. That was a horrible throw. Let's do that again. They're not all perfect. <laughs> anyway, this pile is loaded down. We might just leave it. Look at that. Good drop. Good image. Good fish. And he got off. Gotta set the hook a little harder, Matt. Right there. Get one more fish off this and we out. We outie. Here he comes. That size of speed up, and there it is. Pro release. Anyway, gumdrop, freaking hot, smoking hot. What else you want to know? gotta play those fish man and it's not the easiest bite but with the gumdrop it can be right there folks check it out I'm a, I need a just got a new load of gumdrops in man it is freaking with the new bubble gum head which is the way I want I love it with the bubble gum head bubble gum pink baby let me show you let me show you the bubble gum I don't know how much of a how much time I have shown this yet, but I want to, first off, I had to update my, uh, my jig thing. Check it out. A lot of colors, a lot of weights now, but let me just give you an example. This is the new one eighth ounce, uh, three pound fishing jig. Freaking awesome. Bait hooks on the backside, modified sickle, perfect eyelet, perfect jig. This is the perfect jig. It will last you forever if you don't lose it. So that's the new bubble gum pink right there. To give you an idea of what the other pink looks like, see how the contrast right there? Big time difference in color. This guy works great. I like bubblegum pink too though. And that's the 1 8. So this is, let's just do a, so 1 8, 1 16th. And of course, 1 32nd, 1 32nd. Here they are right here. So I love them both. Um, the new 1 8 ounce jigs, a lot of people in those bigger lakes, Grenada, really requested a 1 8. I know that we love fishing with these guys in the springtime. So the 1 8 is a very popular jig now. Um, certainly at the beginning of the season, that white is freaking popping. So great jigs. Check them out at 3poundfishing.com. Folks, that's it. Talked about the defaults on Garmin. Those could be your perfect settings too, so check them out. And um, it's gonna be a great summer. The heat's coming. You'll see some episodes in that heat, I'm sure. And uh, anyway, I appreciate you guys. Check out Sands Marine for Bass Cat needs. Check out Bass Cat because they're an awesome company. This boat is freaking top notch. You'll love it if you get a Bass Cat, I guarantee you. Even if it's a used Bass Cat, it's awesome. So thanks again, guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.